guess my history with reptiles really started when I got a hamster and my brother was allergic, so I had to take it back. Um, so it kind of put me on a search for a small animal that I could keep as my own. Started doing research, I was like, I want a chameleon, I want a bearded dragon, I want a Komodo dragon, I wanted all this stuff. Once I started with one, I wanted another one and I wanted another one and there were so many species I wanted to work with. So I kind of went buck wild and just bought everything I could, all kinds of animals and just kept kind of collecting until my room was full. Um, so I moved downstairs into the bigger room and filled that guy up. Um, we moved into my dad's house, filled up my room so much that I had to sleep on the floor. I didn't have room for a bed. I tried the loft bed and cages underneath that. Then I filled it up even more and had to sleep on the floor for a couple of years. Moved in here and I'm almost there. My bed's on a cage right now. Rocky I got from a family that definitely didn't know what they were doing. Um, he was kept in like a little bitty dog crate um, with like a slide out tray. Um, with, didn't look like there was any lights on the enclosure and he was fed green iguana diet and he's a Cuban rock iguana which is completely different. And both my parents were always the people that were terrified any reptile like a snake walked across the street they stomped it every time and as a kid like I, I always took an interest in snakes and how they like they were venomous and how they would kill stuff and how they moved after a while I started making mistakes and animals would die on me and I didn't really have very many resources so like a lot of the stuff that I learned was just from trial and error um, I did find a group Southwest Missouri Herp Society uh, they meet like once a month and talk about reptiles and that helped a lot with like learning about different species in August I uh, started at Petsway and that's helped a lot too like learning about animals that I haven't kept before that we have at the store and then I met my roommate right before I started at Petsway who also has a passion for reptiles and we always talked about like how cool it would be if we put all of our animals in like one facility and that's where we're at now all of our animals in one facility so once we started getting into big lizards that's when we had to kind of uh, start working on breeding projects for food, not only the animals, so started breeding rats and mice and different kinds of roaches and even mealworms and stuff. And I've just kind of made friends along the way that do the hobby and collected animals and just kind of uh, invested in enclosures, really. It's really interesting how much goes into just the care of animals. Um, a lot of people think like, oh, it's just a guinea pig or just a ferret, and there's a lot that goes into it and a lot that could happen. Probably the biggest difficulty I ever experienced keeping reptiles was a, a mites infection. Basically they're these little um, black bugs, kind of like fleas on dogs, but they pick reptiles. Um, they're non-harmful to humans, they can't get on you or lay eggs on you or anything like that. But I got back from a vacation in Florida and a handful of my animals had had that, so I had to uh, take every cage, clean every cage out, quarantine every cage, and move all the animals with mites to another room. I've been bit by uh, larger monitors two times and definitely hit you hard and they hit you quick and you bleed for like an hour or two afterward. Tons and tons of snakes and smaller reptiles, uh, but the monitor by far is the worst bite I've ever had. I've worked with millipedes, centipedes, different kinds of beetles, whip scorpions, vinegaroons, um, all kinds of reptiles. I've actually worked with venomous reptiles um, that a buddy of mine owns, which is so much fun. I wish I could have some. But it's so much fun and so rewarding because like most of the monitors that I've gotten um, were jerks when you first get them. And then like working with them enough that you can just reach in there and pick them up um, is a huge milestone. I think that guy took three or four months of 15, 20 minutes a day of just sticking your hand in there and waiting for him to get curious.